Hi everyone, this is Yuming. So yesterday I have uploaded a video about our CEO presenting at Jason Partners Meetup for NVIDIA. After that I've received some questions about how did this partnership begin and what we have been doing with NVIDIA. So people are actually pretty curious about this partnership. Today I'm inviting our CEO to sit down with me and answering some questions that you may have. Without further ado, let's get started and see what he has to say about the partnership. So three years ago, we started to talk with NVIDIA about a new opportunity by bringing his latest technology into Singapore computer. We were quite excited. I think it's a very good opportunity for a lot of uh, our communities to be, get a hold of the latest uh, powerful AI solution they can have. So we are very happy to join the venture and uh, we hope uh, to distribute the just Nano from the very beginning. It was back in 2018. So it has been quite a complementary between NVIDIA and SEED because we have been serving the industry for 12 years by bringing a lot of new technology to the people all over the world. And also we have a lot of startups, innovation centers to bring their ideas into finished product from a small gadgets to all the way into industrial controllers. But we have been always looking for new technology from IoT, from AI. The best partner could be NVIDIA and uh, we all know that how powerful NVIDIA solutions are on the chip side side. Now, I think the biggest gap we are solving, uh, resolving together is how can we shorten the gap between the new technology and the uh, old tr traditional industries. So they, it should be the people in the middle be able to use the tech much easier on the software layer, on the experiences of developing. But also mm -hmm. the size of the hardware has to be smaller that you can squeeze it into a lot of applications into your buildings, into your cars, into your vehicle, into your like animals around you. I think there's a lot of possibilities goes beyond as the, uh, the hardware is getting more powerful and smaller. So we're very excited to see what the new technology can bring to a new, new wave of AI adoption. So I think uh, we can bring a lot of new venue into the, the ecosystem because we through the whole hardware developers community they can experience the common technology on a lot of diversity of um, innovations and some of them will be proven and we can collectively to work together on these certain problems and find ways to really bring it into commercial level and to use it in the real field. So we have a lot of experience in this uh, uh, domain. We know how to manufacture this stuff with uh, speed and with uh, the um, enough standard and also to meeting the cost requirements. So we are very happy to incubate a lot of new hardware, a lot of devices that uh, common people in very small like group of people can use. Alongside with the innovation in large features that can really foster in a amount of time. So as we move into 2021, I think it's going to be a much better year than 2020. And uh, we see the trend of more edge AI devices. It's not only embedded into the like, objects, but uh, you need to, sometimes you need to bring the centralized cloud into edge with enough computation power. So we need to make more small and powerful devices. And uh, that's where we are going to announce this reserver with uh, NVIDIA. And another thing is uh, um, people are not only use them for prototyping. How can we really encapsulate them into industrial grade and uh, be ready to use in different fields? And also we need to work a lot of with a uh, different background of people. They know AI, but they also know their applications. They also have their professions. So they are the pioneers by combining the new technology of AI and their know-how has been passed for many years. Now we, we can help them to encapsulate this know-how into a device that people can just buy and uh, duplicate. So that's what we see uh, for the next, and uh, we are very excited to join the journey with NVIDIA and you.